Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an on-screen mouse that shows your clicks and movements in OBS. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. On screen right now, you can see a quick example of this. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links as always are in the description down below. This is going to be for the no board application that we're going to be using to create the cool effect with the mouse on screen. So what we're going to do is come to this link, like I said, and we're going to be downloading the latest version of the no board application. In this case, for me, it's 1.2.1, but I'd recommend downloading whatever the latest version is. All you need to do is come to this link, locate to the latest version, and then we're going to be downloading the no board zip. We simply need to click on this and then your download should begin. Once your download is done, you want to move it to a location where you can find it easily. So currently I have mine on my desktop right here and you want to extract out the contents, which I've already previously done into this folder. And if we double click to open this folder, we should see a few things, but in particular, what we're going to be looking for is the no board application, which is about 820 kilobytes. What we're going to be doing is double clicking to run and install this application. You may get this warning for windows. All we need to do is click on the more info button click run anyway, and then our application will run. So once you've run this application for the first time, you're going to be met with this blue screen. And what we're going to be doing is editing and adding some options to this so we can put our keyboard, or in this case, what we're going to be focusing specifically our mouse on screen to create a cool effect. What we're going to do from this point is right click. We're going to go to the load keyboard option. And then we're going to be searching in this drop down category where we'll get a bunch of different options for different kinds of keyboards and mice we can put on screen. In this case, I'm just going to be going with the burning fish as the first example, and we can see our blue box now shows a keyboard. If we close this down, what we can do is click on this application. And if I press any buttons on my keyboard, you can see they'll light up on screen as I press them, which is a really cool effect. But what we're going to be doing is mimicking the same effect for our mouse clicks. And I'm going to be showing you some cool things you can do with it. So what we're going to be doing is right clicking on this application again, clicking load keyboard, and I'm going to be moving our application just to the side so we can see the effects it actually has. And in this case, what we're going to be doing is changing the category from burning fish to J O A O seven Y T. And we're going to be clicking this open and here we're going to see a bunch of different things. So as you can see on screen right now, as I move my mouse around, you can see it almost acts like a touchpad. As I left and right click, you can see the effects popping up on screen, but you can use this as an example if you want, but there is some other nice options here also. So what we can see as we scroll down through these options, we can see a bunch of different effects coming up on screen. Typically they use just the razor as an option, but what we have right here is the nice little short keyboard press with the razor mouse. You can see as I left and right click, the options come up also. So all you can do is search through these until you find an option that you like the most. In this case, I like this black version of the keyboard the most, so I'm going to be going ahead with this one, but you can choose any other versions you want. All we're going to be doing is closing this down and our application should automatically save these settings. So everything should work from this point. Now, in my case, what we have done is set the background to green as it's like this by default, but you can change this if you wish, but I'm going to be keeping it green in this case. So we can remove the background in OBS to make it look a little bit better. But of course you can change some more settings by going back into the settings. We can change a couple things here with your mouse sensitivity, a couple of other options. So there is a lot of customizability with this. You can even add custom keyboards if you wish. In this case, I'm not going to be getting too much into that in today's video. So what we're going to have to do in this case is leave our no board application opened up. And what we're going to be doing is opening up OBS. And as you can see, I still have no board open in the background and we're going to need to leave this open as we're going to have to link to this in OBS to make it show up on our scene. So what we're going to be doing is coming to the bottom left of our OBS screen and we're going to be clicking to add a new source. In this case, what we're going to be choosing is window capture. We can name this window capture scene if you wish. In this case, I'm just going to be leaving it by default. We're going to be clicking OK and then we're going to have to select the application or window in this case, which we want to record. In this case, what we're going to be doing is selecting the no board application. But in this case, all you need to do is find and select the no board application. From here, I wouldn't really recommend changing anything else on the screen. What we're going to be doing is clicking OK and then our window will show up here. Now, in this case, I'm going to be stretching and expanding my window to the full screen so we can see it really easily. And you can see just like that, it's working really well so far. What we're going to be doing from here is removing the background. What we need to do for this is to come back down to our sources and find the window capture we just added. What we're going to be doing is right clicking here. We're going to be going to the filters option where we're going to see all filters currently added to this source. In this case, I have none so far. To add one, all we need to do is come down to the bottom left of this window, click the plus option. We're going to be adding in this case a chroma key. You can give this a name if you wish. In this case, I'm also going to be leaving it default. Click OK. 
And then from here, we can add a chroma key to remove our green background. In this case, it's already set to green, so I removed it automatically. But you can change around with the settings. You can choose a different color. In this case, it's green, blue, magenta, or custom. You can choose a similarity, smoothness, and spill, which is basically going to determine how much of your selected color we remove. In this case, it's green. So I'd recommend experimenting around with this. Try to create as smooth as effect as possible for your keycaps so you can still see everything. You can see as I remove the smoothness, you can see some gaps appearing in between the keyboard. In this case, I don't want this, so I'm going to try to leave it as default as possible. But I'd recommend playing around with this to create as smooth as effect as possible for your stream in this case like i said i'm just going to be returning it to default as it does a pretty good job in this case i'm going to be leaving it like this and then i'm going to be clicking the close button on the bottom left as you can see right now i have it perfectly removed there's nothing showing up in the background but you may be wondering i don't actually want to show any of this keyboard stuff how do i remove it well this is another easy thing what we need to do is come back to our sources one more time i'm going to be clicking the right click option i'm going to be going to filters i'm going to be adding a new filter for crop and pad you can give it a name also if you wish. In this case, all I'm going to be doing is cropping out the whole left side. All I'm going to be doing is increasing this left number until I can fully remove the keyboard from the left. So all I can see is the mouse. In this case, you have to keep adjusting this number. You can use the arrows on the side. Or in this case, I'm just going to be entering in numbers so I can do it a bit quicker. And for me, what fully removed this is 308 pixels. So you can just mimic this if you're using the same size and keyboard as me. Once you have this done, what we're going to be doing is clicking the close button. And then you should see on screen we have this nice mouse effect where we show all of our options. We can show our left click, right click, middle mouse, and everything should appear on screen. What I'm going to be doing is scaling this down a little bit lower. And from this point, you can put it anywhere you want on your stream so you can show all your effects. Like I said, you can also keep the keyboard on this if you wish. I've done a previous video where I go fully over all the different keyboards. So if you want to check that out, I'll also leave a link in the description to that. But from this point, you can add any scenes or sources to your scene if you wish. You can add different games to the background and as you can see it looks really really well on top of the games and it works really really nicely anyway guys it's as easy as that to add an on-screen mouse in obs if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel until next time guys as always keep it saucy peace